Prime Minister Imran Khan, illegally incarcerated now for 296 days, has urged Pakistanis to read the Hamoud Rahman Commission report. In a statement from his jail cell posted to his official Twitter account, Mr. Khan said, quote, Every Pakistani should study the Hamoud Rahman Commission report and get to know who was the true traitor, General Yahya Khan or Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, unquote. The report offers detailed findings into why Pakistan lost half of its country, East Pakistan, which later turned into Bangladesh, after the country's powerful army committed grave human rights violations and refused to accept the mandate of the people imposing an unelected, unrepresentative government. Fearing his release, the former Pakistani Foreign Minister and Vice Chairman of Imran Khan's party, the PTI, Mr. Shah Mahmood Qureshi, has been arrested in eight additional cases. Mr. Qureshi has been illegally incarcerated now for almost a year in the diplomatic cable cipher case, for which legal analysts and court reporters said his release was imminent this week. The cases in which Mr. Qureshi was arrested are in the Punjab province regarding May 9 vandalism, whereas Mr. Qureshi was in the Sindh province on that day. Prominent journalist Fajal Saeed Khan in an exclusive report in his vlog on Sunday said that the military advisor to Pakistan's UN mission is engaging in lobbying US Congressman Representative Tom Swazi. Mr. Fajal Saeed Khan said in his report, the Pakistani military is attempting to counter the Pakistani-American diaspora's outreach to American lawmakers, which resulted in a congressional hearing earlier this year on election rigging and human rights violations. Mr. Fajal Saeed Khan named the ISI station chief in New York as the official using the UN mission's diplomatic resources for the lobbying efforts. Sir, we have warned them about our red lines, legislative, but also in terms of uh, how we cooperate with Pakistan. If they get into bed with Iran, it'll be very serious for our relationship. Okay, we need to reiterate that again and again. Crime and terrorism are on the rise in Pakistan as the country is in a de facto military rule. Five Pakistani soldiers were killed in a terrorism incident in the north of the country, whereas the country's once secure capital is witnessing rising crime. Law enforcement officials are distracted by the political role, trying to counter Imran Khan's popular political movement. Besides rising terrorism, the increase in poverty has led to an increase in street crimes as well. Several countries and global organizations have condemned the Israeli air attacks on tents housing displaced people in Gaza's southernmost city of Rafah that killed at least scores, including many children. Israeli forces killed more than 40 Palestinians when they bombed a camp for displaced people in southern Gaza. Fire tore through tents, burning people alive in a designated safe zone in Rafah just days after the ICJ ordered Israel to stop its assault. Over 35,000 Palestinians have been killed by Israel since October 7.